time is it? It's movie time. What time is it? It's movie time. What time is it? It's movie time. What time is it? It is time for movie review. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Today, today we got a movie review. I'm going to do a movie review on today's movie. We got a new Conjuring movie. And this Conjuring movie is called The Conjuring. The Devil Made Me Do It. This is part of the Conjuring universe, aka the, the Conjuring timeline. If you guys don't know, I got history of the Conjuring universe, aka the Conjuring movies. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy the heck out of the Conjuring movies. The first two Conjuring movies was fantastic. The Nun. The Nun was okay. It was not the best, but it was okay. The first anime movie, it, it was scary. I gotta admit, it was scary. But anime creation, anime creation has to be, in my opinion, the best Conjuring Universe movie of one of my opinions. Because I enjoy that movie so, so, so much. It has everything. Good casting, good jump skills, good skills. Like, it has everything. Like, it has everything in the Conjuring Universe it's supposed to have. Like, Animal Collision has to be one of my favorite anime movies and, of course, one of my favorite Conjuring movies of all time. And, if you guys don't know, the last Conjuring movie, the last Conjuring movie, it was Annabelle Comes Home. It was not the best, in my opinion. I did not enjoy it at all. I'm sorry to all the Annabelle fans, I did not enjoy uh, um, Annabelle Comes Home because it was not that fun. Like, it was not that fun. It was not scary because guys didn't know that I feel like the Annabelle Comes Home was just a bit goofy in my opinion. Like, do you, I understand. if you guys have watched Annabelle Comes Home, do you think it was goofy for you? Because my opinion, it was kind of goofy in my opinion. Like, I still remember the scene in Annabelle Comes Home. They were at a supermarket, okay, a store, and then like a woman comes like walks up to a manager or walks up to a cash register his, and they said, I think I spilled blood on me and which is ketchup. I was like, oh, like, okay. Like, that was, it was not that funny in my opinion. Like, I feel, I feel like Annabelle Comes Out was a goofy horror movie and I did not enjoy it. I'm sorry. But when I heard that they're the, making another Conjuring movie, I was a bit nervous and a bit excited to see a new Conjuring movie because if you guys know, I really, really love the Conjuring movie because I'm going to see because because of course it's based on two events and I want to see how of uh, what events it took place in. I think this the country made me do it has to be like the greatest like true story, okay? The true events in the country universe. Like this because this movie was very interesting. I love like in seeing like true event stories, seeing what happened in the real lifetime events. Like I just love those type of movies. So the big question is, did I enjoy the country Devil Made Me Do It? And this is my answer. My answer is heck yes baby this movie was good it's not the best movie of the year but i would say it's a good movie like i enjoyed the heck out of this movie good jump skills good killings good cast good everything about what the country movie supposed to have like i enjoyed the heck out of this movie so overall i think i'm gonna give this movie an 8 out of 10 or 7 out of 10 i really don't know because i am gonna talk about this movie if you guys have not seen the country they haven't made me do it um stop this video right now and go watch it on hbo max or on movie theaters right now but if you guys have seen The Conjury, The Devil Made Me Do It, hope you guys enjoyed this movie review. So yeah, of course, this is based on a Conjury movie, aka based on true events. In the McGann movie, they, of course, they um, bring in a prissy, aka a, a pope, aka a prissy to try get the devil out of the house. If you guys don't know, in the McGann movie, um, the devil um, possessed a um, kid. And they're trying to get the devil out, but his brother said, take me instead. So the devil decided to take him instead and that's when um that's when of course um the events happen like the devil has been with him uh, all the time and of course i think part of the movie is that i think i did something wrong or i think the devil made me do it like i said ah oh, he said the title <laughs> i was like every time uh every time someone said um the title's Entire name of the movie in the movie. I was like, ah, ah, he said it, he said it. Like in Family Guy, when Peter say, ah, ah, he said it, he said it. <laughs> like I just love it. So yeah, um, so yeah, they of course the cause the two main um the main people that did um collect all the stuff. Like you guys don't know who those two people are. They like to collect like artifacts. Uh, I heard I heard like a true story. I heard a story like it's actually real. That um, just, if you guys don't know that the real life animal. They, they announced that she got out. Like people were freaking out, but no, but no, they didn't. She didn't get out. I think someone spread rumor around, and no, she didn't get out. Like I, I was scared too. Like I was scared. I was like, oh no, like oh, I'm, I'm scared of what's gonna happen. But no, she is still safe in the box. 
So yeah, there was, of course, there was a lot of weapons in this movie, like a lot of weapons, like the Nun, the Annabelle, like the other other movies, like the of course the Conjuring movies, the first two movies, like it was good. Like there was a lot of weapons in this movie, a lot of good jump scares and everything. And I think the best twist about this movie is when the um, woman decided to talk to an old priest that has been um has been retired for like years now. And then you guys know that the uh, main um, villain, aka the um, devil, aka the person who's been doing this. I think this is the best twist. Like, um, they would see some, they would see a flower pot, but like in the um, almost close to the conclusion, like the third act of the movie, um, they realize that the um, flower pot it has a um, specific artifact, aka like a it's a specific devil um, artifact to summon it, to summon the devil, aka, aka to put, put to put a curse. Upon him, that's a good twist. And of course, like the uh, priest, um, the priest's daughter, that was her. Like that was actually a good twist. Not gonna lie. So yeah, the um, the kill. I th I, I gotta say, it, of course, the um, country movie doesn't have a lot of kills, but I I love this kill. Like I love this kill in the country universe. Like I, it ha I mean, it does have one or two kills, but I don't mind. Like it, it could be really going the really battle. That's what I love. If you guys don't know that Emma comes home. It didn't have much kills. Like, much kills, I mean no kills. I really don't know. I haven't watched that movie in a long time. But I remember it does have no kills. Which, that way, really disappointed me a lot. So, yeah. But the content that made me do it, it had some good kills. Like, only one or two kills. So, yeah. I think the first kill, it was the um, guy who, the um, brother who had been possessed by a demon, killed one, one of his workers that has been in an animal shelter. Like, he stabbed 22 or 20 times. I was like, Dang, like dang, like dang. Like if you guys saw the part of the trail, the beginning of the trail, he was walking across the street and he turns around to the police and says, I think I did something bad or the devil made me do it. Like of course I didn't react to the trail because I have no idea they were making a conjuring another conjuring movie. So yeah, um I got nothing to say about this movie. Uh, this is a short movie review. But yeah, I, there was nothing like big about this movie. Um, I heard that this movie is making a huge money in the box office, along with the Quiet Plus Part Two, which I which I will um see that movie very soon because I heard that the Quiet Plus Part Two is a fantastic sequel, aka a good movie, a good horror movie. But I heard that um the ending of the movie it it, it was really confusing, it really not that good. But who knows? Like I will watch the Quiet Plus Part Two. And I will see. What I find out because I heard that the Quiet Place Part Two is a fantastic sequel. And of course, I um watched the Quiet Place Part One, and of course, the Quiet Place Part One has to be the best horror movie out there because it's so quiet. And that's why I like it because if you guys don't know that in the movie there's like everyone starts everyone starts talking in the movies, but in Quiet Place Part One and Part Two, it's silent. Like it is. I really miss the movie deals, man. I like, I really miss the movie deals. I, of course, I'm not go to the movie deals every single day because I watch this on the country that they remember do on HBO Max. So, yeah, um, the first, if you guys wonder wondering what, what's the first movie that I watched in the movie, it was the Tom J movie. And I got to say, like, am I the only person who loves the Tom J movie? Like, what? I'm give that movie now, 10. I mean, of course, like, the human, so he gets to the human thing. It can be a little boring, but I don't care. Like, the human thing is very interesting and very funny at the same time. Like, am I the only person in this world and out of the whole YouTube who likes a Tom Jane movie? Like, I enjoy the heck out of it. Like, it has some good moments, good weapons into the show, good music, good everything, good jokes, everything. Like, I especially love the Tom Jane movie. Like, it was fantastic. I love it. Like of course I have I need to rewatch it again to see if it stays a nine out of ten. If it's the, if it's not a nine out of ten, it has to bump down to an eight out of ten. But as right now, Tom Jane movie has to be a nine out of ten. But yeah, am I the only person who likes the Tom Jane movie? Leave comments below right now if you guys enjoyed the Tom Jane movie. Because I enjoyed the heck out of it. Like I enjoyed I love Tom Jane movie. Like it's it's good. Like it's one of my favorite TV show live action movies. Like it's good. Like, I mean, it's better than other Tom Jane movies, like, straight to DVD, but this Tom Jane movie was good. Like, am I the only person who likes a Tom Jane movie? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, this is supposed to be the, um, Tom Jane movie, the, um, my movie of the Tom Jane movie, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so this movie was good. Like, it was good horror movie, good slasher movie, nothing I mean, it's not a slasher, but it's good horror movie. I would give this movie easily 8 out of 10 or 7 out of 10, but as for right now, this is, has to be a good horror movie. Like, I would like, if you guys are 
if you guys are big fans of horror movies or big fans of like these types of movies or you guys are big fans of the Conjuring movies, I think this movie, I think this is a movie I recommend for you to watch because this movie was good. Like I enjoyed this movie the most, and of course, this, of course, this movie is better than ever comes home. I'm sorry, but yeah, I have to say. So guys, that was my short review, aka my movie review on the country the devil made me do. What you guys think of this movie? Think it was scary? Think it was okay? Or think it was bad? Link comments below. What now? We guys think of this movie? Link comments below. You scale one to ten. I think I would scale this movie easily eight or seven out of ten. We don't know. I think we watch this movie again. So guys, that was my movie review of the country the devil made me do. What you guys think of this movie? Link comments below. What now? What you guys think of this movie? Think it was think it was scary? Think it was good? Think it was bad? Link comments below. What now? If you guys got any movies want me to review? Link comment below. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, like my other videos. See you guys in the next video. What? Um, I didn't, I didn't make this movie review. Did I do something bad? That uh, I did, I did reference to the boy. He said, "I didn't, I think, I think something bad." I, I like that. I like that scene particularly in the movie because it was good. It was scary. I, I just love it. Yeah. So yeah, country, country, definitely made me do it. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Peace out.